Hey, hey, Lisa Charles, it's Megan, and welcome back to React Wednesdays, where I <laughs> react <laughs> to YouTube videos with you guys. And today I have, I read a letter from my younger self by the amazing Phil. I was requested to watch this by, bam, thank you for requesting it, high five to you. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, my social media, boom, 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 damn. Follow me, please. Let's get into this video. Hey guys, so about 10 years ago in 2008, I can't believe mm -hmm. 2008 was 10 years ago. Yeah. I'm dying. I'm going to be 17 Nine. tomorrow. Anyway, I was, you know, asking Jeeves, chatting on MSN, making some prime YouTube content prime. like this. <laughs> That hair. Well, I found a website where you can send emails into the future. So I went and wrote myself a little message, Whoa. typed away to Future Phil, clicked the 10 years box, and bing bang bosh, there's something <laughs> from the bing, Twilight bing, Zone. Bosh. I got my message the other day. See, I printed it and everything. The effort I go to for these videos. So I, I thought it'd be fun to read it with you guys. I had a quick glance, but then I was like, no spoilers. Have to share it with the <laughs> internet first. So let's see what past Philly has got to say for Philly. himself. Hey, Future it's Phil. Really Happy juicy. emoticon. Hey, past Phil. I can't believe it's coming from a time where no emojis existed. How did we even live? <laughs> Although the emoji movie wouldn't be a thing, so maybe that was good. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope life is good and you are healthy and not dead. That's cool. Jen. I can't actually feel a pulse. Wait, oh, there it is. <laughs> Still alive. Imagine if I drop dead filming this video. Lol, that would be a bant. If you're still eating frazzles for three meals a day, today's the day you need to stop. Oh my god, frazzles? This has had the opposite effect. Do you remember frazzles? Do they still make frazzles? I don't frazzles know. Frazzles is no longer a word. It's not even a word anyway. But I'm just gonna go to the shop and slam a six pack of frazzles straight after this video. Thanks, Pass Bill. Do you still have a full head of hair? <laughs> Sorry if you went bald. This is a big fear for me because I kind of won the genetic lottery somehow. My granddad was bald, my other granddad was bald. All my uncles were bald. Everyone's bald. But thankfully, Mama and Dada Lester have insane amounts of hair. I think they got mm. it for the rest of the family. So I inherited that. Glad that sperm won. Mm. Please bear with me. I've still got nice. emo hair. I haven't lost that yet. Maybe in 2019, that will be my time to change. <laughs> Though if I could send a psychic beam back to 2008, Phil, I would say, please get a haircut. Oh. Seriously. Wow. Seriously, wow. please get a haircut. Some things I hope you have in the future. A flying car. I mean, we don't have flying cars, but we do have drones. So I feel like we're getting there. Though I can't be trusted behind the wheel of a normal car, let alone mm -hmm. a flying car. So I'm kind of glad that we don't have them yet. No wires. Wires are the worst, Phil. I wish. I wish we didn't have any wires. <laughs> a rippling six pack. Uh, oh. <laughs> does it count that I printed off some ads and stuck them to my body? <laughs> Where do you live? Hopefully in a Manchester apartment. Or maybe New York, seven Ooh. question marks. How random. <laughs> like it was always my dream to live in Manchester, which was only about half an hour from my hometown, but it was a big city, Manchester, it was a Manchester world of possibilities, thing. and that was just like the most exciting thing I could see myself doing, except I was weirdly obsessed with America. I loved going to America, I wanted to live in America, I wanted an American accent when I was a kid, just Americans, man. I Why? Loved I loved you. But funnily, <laughs> funnily enough, I hated London for so long. I had two visits to London when I was a kid and it really put me off. I had like the terrible London experience. <laughs> like my family wanted to go to all the touristy places so it was super busy. Mm -hmm. And my face pressed against the window of the tube after someone's condensated butt crack had been oh. there. And I think I walked in the path of one of the Queen's guards that was like, halt child. And that really scared me as well. So generally had some London anxiety. Mm -hmm. But then I came to visit some friends here and I grew to love it. And now I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Else. Mm -hmm. So it's funny how that changes. If you told 2008 Phil, hey, you're gonna live in London, I'd be like, blah, what's wrong yeah. with you? Did you make any New Year's resolutions? Mine this year are to be a bit more confident and put myself out there. Oh. I don't think that was the best <laughs> resolution to make because you can't suddenly be like, I'm gonna be more confident and turn into a completely different person. But putting myself out there more was good advice because that was the year of me going, no, I am gonna go to that party mm -hmm. or I am gonna take this weird mm -hmm. presenting job that I'd be scared of and do it, even if I think I'm gonna hate it, it's never gonna be as bad as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. That was a good thing to do for myself, because even though yeah. I'm not like an extroverted break dancer now, I'm <laughs> way more confident than same I was same here. Of, like 15 or 16, a timid same little same. beast that wouldn't talk to anyone. And resolutions for me, I haven't made one like, I'm gonna go to the gym, or I'm gonna get a face transplant. It's been more that I just want to put on the best show ever for interactive introverts, so I'm just gonna put all my energy into that and hope everyone that comes is gonna have an amazing time. And if you wanna come, 
www.danandphiltour.com, danandphiltour.com. So there's still plug. tickets available and you can come see me on a plug, stage, plug. pushing myself out of my comfort zone again. I wonder if you're still doing that YouTube thing, uh, <laughs> I guess. Uh, will YouTube still exist in 2018? Yes, it's turning into a monster. Mm -hmm. and yeah. <laughs> did you ever get 50,000 subscribers? Oh. A couple more than that. But yeah, I would have never had any idea so many people would watch my videos. So I don't want to get all cheesy and emotional, but thanks if you've stuck by me since 2008. And thank you if you just subscribed today. Did you get a job in the film industry? Maybe you'll edit Titanic 2. <laughs> I mean, I would totally be down for Titanic 2 with Zombie Jack. Interestingly, after university, I did have a bit of a crossroads in my life. Like, am I going to pursue YouTube and keep doing this? Because I knew I loved this but it didn't really feel like a secure job at the time. And I got the offer to have a year-long internship at a video editing place, and that would be such a good opportunity, but there would be no way I could keep doing YouTube at the same time. So I just had to follow my heart and what I was enjoying and what I knew I loved, and I decided to stick with you guys. So I'm very glad I did. But who knows what that other Phil would have been mm -hmm. in the alternate universe. Did World War 3 happen yet? <laughs> uh, almost. Yeah, Hopefully I you're not reading this in a nuclear wasteland. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I am irradiated dust in six months, but I'm just going <laughs> to enjoy being alive for now. <laughs> As should you. Yes. If you're still at home, then say hi to the parents. Thankfully got my own place now. Also, hi to the grandparents. You should call grandma more. Oh, grandma! I mean, I can't communicate with the afterlife, Phil. I, I could do a Ouija board right now, but she'd probably say, Stop staring at the screen. Oh, and go outside and play hopscotch. Uh, so, I might go for a walk later. Just come on with my grandma. Oh, my you graduated from uni. Do you ever use your degree in English language? Here's my sexy graduation photo, Ooh. so I made it, Ooh, although I can't spell, so I don't think I'm using my <laughs> English language degree to the fullest, although I am using my editing masters. Look at this, fireworks. <laughs> totally worth the money. Are you still in touch with your friends from home at uni and did you lose Lion yet? People say you make your friends for life at university and I made so many good friends but then everyone just went back to their hometowns which was so far away from where I lived or mm -hmm. even went to Tasmania and then I just kind of talked on Facebook for a bit and just slowly lost contact. Mm. This might inspire me to get in touch with a few of them again. I'm not a complete loner though, Phil. I did make some new friends. I mean, when I wrote this, I didn't even know who that Danny Snot on Fire guy was. And Lion is still going God. strong. I think he's uh, lost a few whiskers, but apart from that, probably an elderly lion now in feline terms. Sorry. Anyway, I hope 2018 is treating you well and the world isn't too messed up. Well, people are eating Tide Pods now, so I think it might be time to move to Mars. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. And thanks past Phil for giving me a video idea 10 years into the future. Maybe I could write down a new message now and send it to myself in 10 years. Maybe that would be a new video idea. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, this if please this give me a thumbs up. Oh, the gaming channel years. is back in action, so if you want some of this... <laughs> then make sure you go and subscribe. Also, if you want to do some shopping, now is the best time as we're having a January sale on Dan and Phil shop where you can get plushies and backpacks Ooh. and bunny slippers. So Ooh. use the code HAPPY2018 at checkout for 20% off. And if you want to subscribe, you can click subscribe. My last video is down there, which was some bloopers from last year. Hope you're good and I will see you very soon. Ooh. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay then. <clears throat> well, that was interesting. I kind of want to do that now, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Wow, what's up? I got really close to the microphone. I kind of kissed it. But yeah, comment down below what you want to see me react to next. And yeah, love you guys. See you later. Bye.